so it's about 4.40 a.m. in Tallinn, Estonia and I'm making my way to the ferry to Helsinki so I'm doing a day trip from Helsinki uh, a day trip from Tallinn to Helsinki <sighs> let's hope it goes well because I am very tired It's a ghost town. Nobody anywhere. I shall see you later. So I've just arrived at the ferry terminal now. Here it is. So the one I'm with is Ekaro Line, I believe. It's pronounced like that, I don't know. Yeah, so departing from Terminal A over there cost me about so cost me about 15 euros departing at 6 o'clock arriving takes 2 hours to get there and then I need to come back to here in Thailand around 5 o'clock so I have to get the ferry in Helsinki at 3 Right, I need to check in. So I've just arrived on the ferry. Yeah, it's gonna take two hours to get to Helsinki. I've never been there before, so it's a new place for me. Yeah. a standard ferry like I've been in one I've been on one a few years ago when I went to the Shetlands so it's got casinos a cafe normal things cost 15 euros I'm not complaining yeah hoping to see the sunrise as well so I'll try and video that so So, I've just arrived in Helsinki. Yeah. Don't know where to go, don't know what to do, I'll find out. So this is the first highlight of the day. It's a man taking a piss. Wow. This is amazing. I don't understand who thought to put this here, it's kind of weird. But I think it's quite cool, like you first arrive in Helsinki from the ferry, you see this thing, a guy pissing. Yeah, well, I don't know, it's kind of funny. Yeah, so... Right, on to the next thing, whatever, whatever that is. You can tell Helsinki is a busy port city by the amount of cranes here. You know, taking cargo and transporting it across across other countries. Yeah, oh, I don't know what else to say about that. Check out the architecture on that, it's nice. Very clean city. The only thing you got to watch out for is these things. So, I've just bought a ticket to go to Suomenlina. I don't know how to say it because I don't speak Finnish. 
Yeah, so whilst that's going on, there's a church over there, so I'm gonna go check that out. And I want something to eat. But already in this country, everything, everything is a rip-off. So, I don't have a lot of time to explore this place because I've got to get a ferry back to Thailand at 2 o'clock. Yeah, don't really need a lot of time here anyway. Alright, let's go. These houses are very Scandinavian as well. Colourful and modern. So this island was originally called Sverborg and it was built in 1748 by the Swedish Empire who ruled it for 60 years until 1808 until the Russians came, invaded it and took over Then eventually in I believe it 1917 yeah the Finnish war of independence begun eventually the land went back to Finland yeah, but back in that back in that time, Sweden was very powerful, one of the most powerful nations in Europe as well. But look at look at it now; it's a shadow of its former self. No way near as powerful it was it what it used to be. <laughs> right, I'll go check the other places out. What's this say? I'm conf I believe this is Finnish and then this is Swedish because Swedish is a major language in Finland and I don't know if Finnish is a major language in Sweden though I don't know uh, but they, they both come from two different language families whereas Finnish comes from um, Uralic, so it's the same as Estonian and Hungarian. However, however, Estonian and Finnish are like brothers. Even though they're part of the same language family as Hungarian, this, it does not sound the same as Hungarian, nor is it similar. Whereas Swedish is the Indo-European language. People originating from India Migrating all the way to Europe and horses. Yeah, check this out. Better not run out of time. I don't want to miss that ferry, nor do I want to stay in Finland. It's so expensive here. I've got to figure out where to go next. Where am I going? Right, I need to check the map. I have to say it's worth coming to this island if you get views like this. And especially when you visit an island by the same people who made IKEA. So yeah, it's a win-win. Trying to see... I thought there'd be more people here today. But... No, it doesn't seem busy. 
that's because it's a weekday possibly obviously on the weekend there'll be a lot more people right, how am I going to get over there I don't want to fall as well yeah check this view somewhere over there is Estonia and I'll be back there soon in a few hours so here it is there's one over there as well yeah I believe these are not real cannons they're a memorial you know for the Finnish Soviet war I believe what does this say please don't walk this way oh, I can't go over there. I've got to respect the rules it's history Got some more fortifications here. What's this? Well, that was exciting. I think I'm gonna head back to Helsinki now. I don't have much time and I've got other stuff to see so yeah it's a nice little island but I just want to see what I want to see that's it really This train station looks quite brutalist. Let's see what's inside. I'm off back out because I need to go somewhere else. All right, off to the next place. So this place is Tempilicum Church, which means Church of the Rock in English. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Let's go inside. So this thing represents music, I believe. God, the weather's terrible. Anyway, there's about 600 pipes in there, I believe. The weather's so bad. And this is the guy who made it. I've got to be careful with this camera when it's raining. It doesn't seem to be doing very well. Oh. What's this? Not bad, I suppose. But after all, it's Helsinki, and <laughs> what is there to do here? 
I've just came here to tick the country off. Okay. I don't know where to go next. I'm going to figure that one out.